Animal welfare advocates and Sequest's own employees have repeatedly accused the aquarium at the Boulevard Mall of exploiting animals for profit. 13 Investigates has reported extensively on that, revealing animal welfare violations, illegal breeding, and cover-ups of animal deaths. Now, there's more. The USDA just released this settlement agreement detailing three violations of the Animal Welfare Act at Sequest. It involves multiple locations and eight incidents across the country, including an injured otter here in Las Vegas. The settlement agreement details that the otter was hurt in 2021 when an enclosure door fell on it, smashing its right foot. USDA records show the otter suffered one dislocated toe, another broken toe, and a serious cut on its foot pad. Sequest was fined $4,500 total for that and the other violations listed here at other Sequest locations. Now, while that fine is long overdue, it is woefully inadequate for a facility where at least 44 animals have died prematurely and dozens of customers have been injured. At least five incidents were reported at the Sequest location in our neighboring state of Utah when guests and employees were interacting with animals. The violations include a guest bitten by an otter while feeding the animal, multiple incidents involving a South American coati biting and scratching both employees and guests, a kinkajou biting and puncturing a guest's finger, and an Asian small clawed otter biting a guest who was handing the animal a toy. In New Jersey, a flying squirrel was killed. It died from injuries after an employee closed a door on the animal. PETA calls the $4,500 fine for all those violations a slap on the wrist. The citations in this penalty are only a handful of over 50 citations of the Federal Animal Welfare Act that Sequest has racked up in just a couple of years. So this fine, if the USDA had issued Sequest the maximum penalty for the citations identified in the penalty document, the fine could have been over $100,000. Sequest sent a statement emphasizing that the otter injured in December of 2021 is the only incident in the settlement that's local to Las Vegas. They say the Vegas team immediately self-reported the incident to regulatory agencies. The otter exhibit was updated per USDA regulations, and there have been no subsequent issues. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.